How's it going, everybody? My name is Ruffle Rowlett, and welcome back to a better video. Guys, I have been out of it. If you don't know me, I'm Ruffle Rowlett, and uh, for the last four days, I have been sick, uh, intensely sick. I've not been able to get out of bed, and it's caused me to feel totally awful. So, uh, yeah, uh, it is what it is. But, ladies and gentlemen, uh, sorry for not being around, sorry for not posting videos, and there's been a lot of stuff that I wanted to cover, which is from leakers that you guys may know, uh, riddlers that you may not know, and stuff like that. So, this is from credible people as well as some uncredible people. So, keep that in mind. A lot of this stuff could be real, but also fake, so just be aware of that. But nonetheless, we're going to be taking a look at some leaks. Um, but yeah, let's get started. And sorry if I'm very slow in how I speak, it is because I'm literally in pain. Uh, so yeah, and I'll be not doing a lot of editing in this video. It's going to be a lot of talking and looking at posts. So, you know, we're, we're just taking it slow right now. I don't have the energy to edit, let's just say it like that. But uh, here's what we go with. So this is it, major potential spoilers. This is a Ben Affleck level leak. And if you don't know what uh, Soul Silver here is referring to, Ben Affleck was a leak that was made uh, back during Sword and Shield's era, when Sword and Shield were being, before they were released, uh, it was a leak that contained a ton, and I really mean a ton of information about specifically Sword and Shield, which we didn't know yet about the games at the time. So just keep that in mind. But if we open up this post itself, which he's referring to here, uh, so level leak of a Gen 9, in my opinion, I strongly believe this is accurate info. If you've seen what I've been posting all week, this all adds up to what Ku was hinting. Could still be wrong out. Wrong but. Either way, here we go. So the post he's referring to is this, hmm, what do you think? And then it's from Willow Wisp, uh, which is a person that's been posting a few things recently. Um, you were onto something, um, or um, yeah, it was, uh, it was, you. I think it was you, right, anyways, uh, saying that to Soul Silver and I guess maybe Blaze and Incineroar in this case, but here's what they're talking about, though. So, uh, he continues on. Here's what I believe uh, this is about, the starters. And what they're talking about here is this post that's the uh, apparently about the uh, Chinese uncle, which is this individual, which is a leaker and Riddler that posts a lot of information that uh, that he posts on Tieba Baidu, which is a Chinese version of, like, Reddit kind of. So, yeah, but here's what the post basically has to say, so I'll be reading through it. Uh, so apparently, uh, you know, it's being said, whoa, Eclipse shared this on his Twitter, and it's gen uh, generally spreading about the, the leak scene. Thanks for looking at this, everyone. I'm really flattered. Also, Eclipse isn't actually credible at all. <laughs> like, seriously, he's gotten 50 th different things wrong. Don't trust this doc and its info because of him. I mean, come on. He called Sun and Moon his least favorite game. Do you really want... Uh, l listen, I disagree with that. I disagree with the S Sun, Sun and Moon were the worst Pokemon games, in my opinion. Worse than, I mean, uh, not, maybe not worse than Sword Shield. And my favorite starter is from there. But I still did not like Sun and Moon. But hey, that's just me. Either way, the background. So here's what he says. There is something afoot in the Asian Pokemon community. A leak that's been spreading like wildfire that hasn't yet gotten its foot through the Western fan base's door. Until this post. You see, in recent days in the Pokemon forums hosted by the Chinese tech conglomerate Baidu, there has been a quite a stir over a certain user's supposed sword, uh, sorry, Scarlet and Violet leaks. A user will dub the uncle. As it turns out, the uncle was the one who first relayed information about new Kami based on Genbu, the Pokemon we've seen uh, come to known as Enamorous, which is from Pokemon Legends Arceus, if you haven't played that game. Now they're back with a vengeance, with a host of claims about Scarlet and Violet that even dispute common interpretations of Ku's recent riddles. More on this later. For now, let's check out the claims. Okay, these are really neatly divided into two categories. General game design. So, Scarlet and Violet will be putting heavily... Uh, uh, will be pulling heavily from old and scrapped IDs. The game's concept has been gastating, uh, gestating sorry, uh, for a while in contrast to what the 2022 release date would lead you to believe. A new gimmick is described as similar to job changing from Final Fantasy but with types. Ooh, interesting. Storyline has vague similarities to black and white. Involves two feuding families who rule the region with one of the two. This number is uh, conjecture on my part as they were compared to uh, Sharon and Bianca. Rivals getting the opposite mascot legend okay that's interesting so it's kind of similar to what we already had in um you know a uh, sword and shield so to say but that's interesting okay next up he says new pokemon and forms so, so uh, scarlet and violet will have one of the largest new pokemon selections in a very long time that's actually pretty cool around the ballpark of gen 1 3 and 5 okay 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 that's good that's good uh, starter final types are grass dark so that actually does make sense with sprigatito in a way uh, fire ghost which also makes sense and water fighting which uh, again makes sense essentially the pla types but with the grass and water switched ooh that is actually a pretty neat way to do it um that actually would make a lot of interest like that actually would make a lot of sense right like them just mimicking that over because that's like one of the things you have to know about pokemon they really love to use like stuff like that like overlaps or mimicking or like just stuff like that is often something they do 
Well, let's continue. The mascot legendaries are Dragon Fighting and Dragon Electric, which does match with what Riddler Koo said in his post. If you guys know who Riddler Koo is, he's a Riddler who last year revealed a lot of information about Legends Arceus, like a lot of info, real information that was confirmed real, and also who revealed a lot of information about, um, whatchamacallit, uh, BDSP. So he was a legitimate, like, essentially leaker, I would say. I mean, he was a Riddler, right? His whole name is Riddler Koo, but he's a legitimate person that's given us information, so keep that in mind. Uh, he just tends to go off a bit crazy on, on Twitter, which is totally fine. I mean, hey, everybody can be crazy. It's Twitter, for fuck's sake. Either way, in addition to brand new Pokemon Surge, regional forms will also still be around. One of them uh, will supposedly be based on uh, Ratoncito Perez, the Spanish mouse version of the Tooth Fairy, which, okay, that's different. Uh, while no indication as to what Pokemon it, it, it is was given, I'm convinced this is a Dedene form, as uh, Ratoncito Perez is effectively a Spanish reskin of Le Petit Soris, the French uh, Tooth Fairy mouse equivalent Dedene is based on. Okay, that's interesting, actually. I did not know that. Um, the other claimed form is for, surprise, surprise, Tauros, supposedly fighting type and a Minotaur-based. Unclear if this is a regional or straight-up cross-gen Evo, worthwhile consider is consideration in a post-Ursula world. Uh, Ursaluna world, not Ursula, geez. Ursaluna world. That's a fair point. Uh, to top all this off, the leaker claimed further hints lie within PLA, although no exp uh, explanation was given as to what these hints are or what they allude to. Try uh, Tying back to Ku. So Ku, as I mentioned, is a legitimate Riddler, Leaker, an individual that we've known for now well over a year. And here's what he said. To cap things off, let's see what Ku's riddle uh, said. So, people thought at first, considering his follow-up, that this was hinting at the starter types. With the uncle disputing this interpretation and providing an aforementioned info, uh, a new one can be crafted. The fighting dragon electric items are in fact not indications of starter secondary types, but the mascot types. And this follows with the Pokemon selection. And with Zekrom is self-explanatory. While at first Cynthia doesn't seem obvious, she too seems to fit once you realize that one of her alt costumes in Master gives her the dragon fighting Komodo which is true. Now, of course, this leaves a question. Does the Master's Pro Tag with Regirock have significance? The answer lies in its label as uh, as of the le legendary Titans. The only one in this game, a Titan in between two representations of uh, Scarlet and Violet's mascots. And what is the code name of this game we know for the data mines and websites? Titan, which we kind of already knew. So I'm just a random guy uh, relaying all this to you, but my hunch as someone who tends to be excessively skeptical of leaks is that this seems to be pretty legit to me. But what do you think? So there you go, guys. What do you all think about this one? But that's not all. we got more stuff to talk about. So as I mentioned, uh, of course, this was posted by Willow Wisp, who shared this, but SoulSilver already had stuff to say, which is, here's why I believe this, this about the starters. Uh, and he goes into a bunch of breakdowns about, like, specifically all the stuff, you know, that we've kind of just read, as well as Eclipse saying something interesting, which is, I can confirm these leaks are real, which again, it's Eclipse, I love Eclipse, but you can't really trust everything he says, uh, you know, because I don't know if he gets any real, I mean, he probably gets some real info once in a while, but he also does put out a lot of stuff that's misleading in a sense, uh, but uh, listen, I love uh, I love Eclipse, um, did I say Sylph? I also love my boy Sylph, but that's besides the point, uh, you can't really trust everything you see here, is what I'm trying to say. Oh boy, my voice is starting to lose itself. Um, either way, so, we go back to things here. So here's one of the things that was actually within the document, which is very curious. Not info from the Uncle Doc, but could just be playing off the dragon type, dragon slash dark type uh, in the upper right corner of Fuku's image. Seems like uh, he may be getting a little extra info, but I don't know. Um, use a pinch of salt, right? The most obvious thing is, this could be a hint to the third legend of the Box Trio. And here's what Eclipse said in one of his posts. Real leak number four. Thanks to darkness, we've been blessed with lights. Thanks to the lights, we've been we've we'll see the unnoticeable so i don't know if that's supposed to be hinting towards something i mean we do know that there is a legendary pokemon uh necrozma and whatnot that did have this whole concept about light and i mean literally it was based on a prism a prism which you know reflects light and causes like you know can like reflect and create kind of rainbow colored stuff either way my point is that the idea of there being a light typing isn't too far-fetched okay it is a bit far-fetched but not that far-fetched. It's not that much out of the realm of possibility um, to actually see that happen. So, I don't know what you guys think about this, uh, but, you know, like, it could still happen. And the way he says it here is kind of interesting. The way he says, like, it's unnoticeable. Is it possibly that the new, like, form of, like, what we're getting in terms of the actual 
uh, you know, mechanic in this game is going to be sort of reminiscent to almost a third typing, but it technically isn't a third typing, and that's why it's unnoticeable, because it is a light typing, but it doesn't really work like that. Um, and somebody says here, what is the unnoticeable? Does he mean a new type, or a legendary with big storyline, good and evil legendaries perhaps, or maybe legendaries are the source of the uh, gimmick? So many options. And yeah, it's true, there's so many possibilities of what this could be, but we continue on. And he says here, I, 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 if you're still having a hard time believing this is a leak, think about this, potential spoilers. And here is a post from Blazon Zitterall, which is another individual that does a lot of research. I'd call these people uh, like leak analysts, right? Like rumor analysts and leak analysts. That's what I'm, I'm naming these boys. So this analyst in this case, Blazon Zitterall, is saying, now we might have to, uh, might have the starter types. I haven't seen anyone make a big deal about their weaknesses, uh, which in this case would actually be a perfect lineup, wouldn't it, right? Because <clears throat> the grass would be strong against the fire, right? Sorry, the, the fire will be strong against... Now, I'm a bit confused right now. The weak... Okay, okay. So, the grass would be weak against the, the fire. The fire will be weak against the water. The, I guess, in this case, uh, fighting will be strong against the ghost. And the ghost would be... Okay, I'm having it. No, 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 no. The fighting would be weak against the ghost, and the ghost would be weak against the dark. I was like, wait a minute. Why does it, like, point that way? But no, he's correct, though. It does go in a perfect, like, way, right? That... The, the one you are, like, strong against with one type, you're weak against with the other type. So this perfectly does match up. And also, what these guys are all based on with this, you know, Sprigatito being based on a Iberian Lynx, the dark typing does fit in well. Um, you know, Fue Coco is based on Coco or Cuca, you know, like a literal, like, ghost boogeyman type of thing within Latin, you know, speaking countries. And uh, then we have Quoxley, which is based on, I think, just like one of these blue-footed duckies, um, which does not really have as much of a connection, but the fighting typing just seems to fit in a sense, right? And there's probably going to be more reasonings behind it, but for now, let's just stick with that. And then the other thing we have here is, if we believe Eclipse's hint, which, by the way, Eclipse has been hinting some stuff, um, which we can take a look at over here, which is, um, uh, will there be starter, uh, the starters be disappointing, disappointing, and will Sprigatito be bipedal? Do you like Gen 5 Pokemon overall? Yes, sir, it's my favorite gen, and Bore is my favorite starter. Well, I think his answer is there, and if he is legitimate, it would make a lot of sense, because if you line these guys up in this way, right, it would actually m fit so well. Maybe, I, I think, maybe, switch Sprigatito and Quoxley in this case, um, you know, so that they, all of them are mishmashed up a bit, and maybe it's possible, but I don't really know. But, like, in this case, he switched over those two, and you can kind of see what's going on, right? So, Sprigatito evolving into a bipedal big boy again, which I wouldn't like. Uh, Fue Coco, I have a feeling, and I've been saying this for a while already, that I have a feeling he's going to turn into some form of a snake-looking thing, similar to, um, a friend right here. So, I don't know. And then, uh, Quoxley evolving into a bipedal form just doesn't make a lot of sense. I think you would need to switch these two. You need to switch, uh, like, Samurott and, uh, you know, uh, Embor. You need to switch those two, okay? Those two, they're in the wrong position. Those need to be switch switcherinoed. Then it, this makes a lot more sense. Because you having, like, uh, Sprigatito evolve into something that looks like Samurott would make a lot of sense. And having Quoxley evolve into a bipedal looking thing makes the most sense. Because it's the only thing here that, like has that most possible potential to be bipedal out of all of them. I mean, Sprigatito, yes, we we, we want to keep it on all fours, but for some reason, they don't like doing that. Uh, and then, of course, for um, Fue Coco, something just feels off about its legs. It feels like those legs are going to go poof and disappear. Same way that Snivy's legs just went poof and disappeared once it evolved all the way into uh, our boy over here. So... I don't know. What do you guys think? I want to know your thoughts and opinions on that one. And like I said, we have a lot of stuff to really technically cover. And, uh, you know, th this really is a lot, okay? Um, and, of course, we want to go back to this, like, big breakdown that we had from uh, our boy Soul Silver Because he had, like, a big old, like, breakdown of everything. Um, just going through all the different posts and everything. So, I thought we'd just look through everything. So, here's some of the things that would be, you know, like have been being said. So first things first, uh, real leak from Eclipse, and he says, there are more than poor leaks new Pokemon. Uh, and then a picture of a, uh, you know, I guess a, um, a I mean, I, 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 it's just a Rotom, right? Um, and then, of course, uh, Solstice says, I really can't believe this one, guys, uh, but Scarlet and Violet could end up as the best generation. 137, I really hope this is real. And uh, I think what you're referring to here, I guess, is the Pokedex entry for... Um, this guy, like, which was in this case, I guess it's 137, one, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, and having 137 new Pokemon actually would make a lot of sense because we haven't really had a Pokemon game with a shit ton of new Pokemon in a long, 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 long time. So is it about time we get one finally with some, some fresh up-to-date stuff? Uh, and then he says, okay, so we must just need to figure out what it cause, wait, uh, what it cause a malice means. Basically, it's cause, causes blank in exchange for a new type and color. 
And here's what like the original post was saying, which was this. Um, let's just continue here. So, come on, load already. Real leak, except it causes malice in exchange for a new color. And uh, then we continue on, and uh, he kind of figures out that always take it with a grain of salt. But this is the definition of malice that makes the most sense here. Um, and here's what it basically says. Uh, t the loss or return of performance-related compensation originally paid by an employer. So may occur in financial service or sometimes used in reference to gains as a negative counterpart to bonus. So basically, malice being like, instead of getting a bonus, you get a, you know, instead of a buff, you get a debuff. Instead of a bonus, you get, well, malice in this case, right? So the negative version of that, uh, basically a penalty, right? Probably a penalty as malice means a financial penalty incurred by a trader, investor, or a banker when an investment or deal results in a loss. So that would actually make a lot of sense. So maybe some new like thing related to the mechanic that we're getting, uh, you know, maybe changing typing of the Pokemon or something like that, or maybe changing the typing of a move or whatever, but doing this change, causing you to maybe lose HP or lose like, you know, a special attack or, you know, speed or whatever, right? Like maybe that's what's going to be happening with this new, like, you know, mechanic, which actually would be pretty cool. Um, and again, I don't really know. I want to know what you guys think about all of this stuff, because there's really a lot of stuff that, you know, I, like, that has to be covered, and uh, I'm getting a little bit tired now. My, my body's getting a little sick. I will go through this massive post by Soul Silver uh, in the next video, which we'll be posting maybe tonight or tomorrow if I have the energy. Uh, but for now, this is going to be it. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm barely sticking by here. I have been feeling very sick recently. I've been feeling very, very, like, you know, exhausted. So, yeah, um, sorry if I'm not, you know, haven't been able to post and make videos about all this stuff, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, once my body's all back in full action and ready to go, I will be back at it again, you know, for you guys making videos, making content and all that stuff that you guys do love and cherish and appreciate. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be uh, that's going to be it for today, lads. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and bye bye.